together as when we're married um so yeah i'm, I'm you know we, we both write in uh kind of sometimes at the same time in different rooms and yeah. uh yeah we've um, obviously been i suppose this last year we've been both at home at the same time pretty much all the time yeah. um but we're yeah fortunate enough to have two different spaces where we can both work yeah um and I, for one, spend a lot of time with headphones on when I'm working so that, um, yeah, basically I'm not making too much distracting noise. Yeah. Luckily, um, I, well, I'm sh maybe Elliot should comment on what it's like living with a trumpet player and trumpet practice. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, uh, it's a lot of long tones, but <laughs> it's, it's all good. Yeah. Well, one thing that is handy, it's worth mentioning, I suppose we're lucky in the sense that Sometimes as a composer, it's quite a kind of lonely thing, and, and you don't have too, you don't have much feedback when you when you finish like school and college or any kind of education as regards to music. You don't have um, as much feedback in in the process of composing. But I, I'm always, you know, when I've come up with an idea or done some writing, I, I'm I'm always asking Elliot if he'd have a listen to it, see what he thinks, and sort of. It's just really nice to have a sounding board for some of your creative ideas. Oh yeah, and, and same, exactly, like, you know, it's great to have, uh, like, regularly I'll sort of write something and then play it to Laura and be like, is that, <laughs> what do you think, does that work? And, you know, and even, even if you don't take on what the other person says, it's good to have, like, that kind of sounding board to just, you yeah. know, yeah, create music. I think content. sometimes just asking the questions or showing something makes you realise what mm. you always wanted or something you know it's just useful and yeah I, I'm definitely inspired by a lot of the things Elliot makes so just hearing him play music around the house um it's just it's always inspiring you know I've, I've known it's music for a long time now and and yeah I feel very lucky to be you know li living under the same roof as one of my favourite musicians oh know? yeah and like exactly the same um yeah like so, so what's it like performing together as well? It's good. If, so like we, like when we first came to Trinity, to college, music college, after school and everything, that was like, I think we maybe like messaged each other over like MySpace, which was the thing back MySpace. then. MySpace. For the kids, that really dates us. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, so we, we got together and started playing really early on and like, like playing just duo and stuff and just like you know playing through tunes and we both had like loads in common like musically that like we both knew about this composer called Schnick uh, who's uh, not that well known um, and like lots of other stuff we had like similar musical reference points so it was really good to play with each other and really like um, felt really natural from like an early stage because we had the same kind of reference points the same influences. Yeah, lots of similar influences and I suppose one of the things that I don't know is yeah, kind of important in a way. It's like when we're playing with other people, um, I, I just, I think in those moments, in, in a funny way, I kind of just see Elliot as another one of my bandmates. Mm. And it's almost like our kind of personal life is like a slightly separate from when we're yeah. playing music. And like, for instance, in Dinosaur, Dinosaur is the play, is the band, that's my band. Elliot plays piano in that. And obviously that that's the band that we tour mostly with, with one another. And yeah. yeah, it's just the four of us really, like four good friends. That's what it feels like in that situation. Oh, yeah. It's super lucky. I like it. There's a really nice balance of, of human beings in the band, so we've just managed to make it kind of work. You know, we haven't sort of fallen out with each other, yeah, um, which is weird, a bit of a feat <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. For some bands, definitely. But I don't um, even really feel like we've even had a little bit of a 
moment in that band. It's always just mm. been. And we've yeah. all like kind of grown together as musicians. So as well as myself and Laura, like like grow. I think that's a big thing as well. It was like when we met and started playing together, we were also like just starting college and like as well as having similar reference points in the beginning. As well, we both like grew as musicians together. So there'd be like things that I would work on, or things that Laura would work on, and we just like feed off each other and be like, oh yeah, let's do that, let's do that. And the same with Dinosaur, like you know, like. Th those musicians have had such an impact on, on myself as well, and I'm sure with Laura in terms yeah. of like and sharing new music that we've heard with mm. one another on car journeys or at home. Yeah, for us and, yeah, yeah, we do that a lot. And even like playing, like playing like fun musical games in the car to like last time, <laughs> whatever. Like just because you know, like everyone in Dance is such like mega musicians, like you know, ears, and time, and everything. But like definitely, I found that super like uh, helpful just like you know being in the car with those guys like when they're all like singing you know these mad music games and stuff and just you know having to join in with that it's like really like oh, you know kept my brain going as a musician